on a good bit of isolation. Just down on the edge of the farm. Nobody around. Got my little horse over there. <whistles> she is on the end. Hey apes! Come give you some breakfast in a moment. You good? She's like, yes, I'm in my pajamas. Oh dear, there you go, boys. Oh, Kevin, there's a tree there. Da, da, da. What a wonderful day, despite everything. Oh, what have, you, what have you got on your collar there, Smurf? Come here, let me have a look. Murphy, that's it, good boy. What's, what's this? On your collar? Oh, I can't even get it off. Oh, on an envelope. That's a letter. It's very hard to film and open a letter if you haven't done it hand. Hi mum, you've forgotten to make a video for year six. <gasps> oh no! Good well, morning year six. Um, just thought I'd do your video in the morning this time. I definitely didn't fall asleep watching Frozen 2 last night. Sorry. I tried to watch it in school, but Mrs Maguire kept talking over it. And so I had to rewatch it again last night and then I fell asleep. So I'm just going to have to watch it again tonight. And it's all such a palaver just to watch Frozen 2. But I'm definitely sure it's going to be worth it. Um, and possibly there might be some guest appearances on the videos from some of the characters, I feel, because I might be inspired. Um, the wonderful hands have reminded me this morning that I need to do a video. I do apologise that I'm recording it in the morning. Murphy, oh, I'm trying to be an internet star, Murphy. Goodness me. Right, oi, no. he's just stolen one of his treats. Such a rascal. Oh, honestly, year six, honestly. Never work with children and animals. <laughs> right then, so, good job the boys have reminded me what to do today. Um, I would like to say a big well done to Lacey, Luke, Shay, Sam, Layla, and Ashton for their stories. They've sent me those uh, yesterday. Um, Shay, thank you very much for being very patient. There was a bit of a communication issue with the emails. I don't think the, e the email elves were working last night and um, they're probably in some kind of corona strike or something um but by the time mr taylor had been very kind of printed it off me i got home and looked and i was like oh it's just come through so don't know what the problem was there but i've got your story and i'm very excited to read it i'm going to go through them all today and make a little video montage of all of your lovely stories so well done if you've submitted me those kenzie big well done to ken because he's actually done a second part to his story Wow, absolute author in the making. Well done, Kenzie. I'm looking forward to that. Um, the math answer was 87. Robin, Rosa and Lewis all got that correct. So today's math challenge is going to be a little bit different. Um, it will be here on the screen. You might want to pause it. It's a complicated one. Perfect. Um, oh, I just echoed. I'm very loud. Um, so the silver emoji problems, if you are enjoying those, um, and you're sad that there isn't one today, you can go on to solveemoji.com. I'll put the email address, or well, the website, there. There are challenges there on all different levels. So if you've got younger brothers or sisters in the house, they might be able to have a look at the, some of the lower ones. If you've got older brothers or sisters, or you want to challenge your parents or adults in the house, there are harder ones on there as well. So have a little look. The answers don't come upon the day that they submit the problems. So every day they submit new problems on every level. Um, and the day after they give you the answers for those. So you can even submit them online, ask your parents how that works and if you're okay to do that, um, because it would involve you making an account. So make sure you always ask your parents permission before doing that. Um, well done again to Robin, Rosa, Lewis and Luke for solving my anagram, which was honor. Uh, very good, there was a new one coming there. It's a tricky one but it was part of your spelling words, so we're hoping that you can have a little go at those, and if not, your spelling list might give you a hand. Shout out. So, Ashton has sent me a fabulous video of Ashton doing uh, a dance routine as part of his home PE. Very, very good. Um, and I think we'll all appreciate the song. It was Tina Turner's Rolling on a River, class favorite, or should I say Mrs. Maguire's favorite. Um, so well done, Ashton. Alfie and Lewis have cracked on with Mrs. Perry's percentages work. So if you haven't already, there is a video that was put up yesterday and it is on some extra percentages work. We've been working on percentages a lot because we knew they were going to come from the stats that we're no longer going to do. Um, but 
Uh, it will help you a lot when you go to high school. They work on percentages and they build on from that point. So taking time now to work on that will give you a head start when you get to high school. So have a little look on the Red Brick Hayes YouTube channel. It's year sixes. It was put up yesterday and it's percentages. Have a go and send your answers or if you've got any problems, drop an email to the year six email and Mrs. Perry will get back to you about that, I am sure. Ah, and well done to Alfie as well for starting uh, work on his World War II news article. I'm very excited to read that. Very, very much so. Um, right, so your challenge for today is um, part of our writing task. So well done for completing the last writing task. If you did, lots of you did. I'm very, very proud. Um, your new one is poetry. I've been feeling inspired by all of this, although all the trees look very, very dead. I can assure you spring is coming. Um, inspired by a poet called William Harper Penrose, off the top of my head. And he writes haikus. He wrote a haiku um, for every letter of the alphabet, so he wrote 26 haikus that each described a different British animal, which is quite interesting. Um, coming up later today when I get home after I fed the pony will be um, a PDF document which guides you to a collection of his work and some support on writing your own haiku. My plan is to create a beautiful year six collection of spring haikus. So if you look outside your window or go into your garden if you're lucky enough to have one or if you're out walking the dog and you spot something that tells you which is spring, I would like you to write a haiku about it. It doesn't have to be an animal, although it could be. Uh, for at the moment, I can hear a little bird chirping. I might find out what bird that is because I'm not very good at my bird calls and write a little spring haiku about it. You might be lucky enough to live somewhere that you can see um, farm animals or you might be lucky enough to have some beautiful flowers around your house that you can spot. Um, if you could write me a beautiful haiku of those and send them over to me. There will be a little video accompanying this challenge uh, coming up later today and like I said the PDF will be there as well so keep checking back. They should be up before lunchtime. Other than that year six, um, you are doing me proud. Oh, before I go, a massive shout out to Evan, Jason and Ebony. They are all uh, popping into school at different times um, because there are a few of those handful of children that are still coming in. Well done to you guys. I've been really, really blown away with your amazing behaviour. You've been brilliant with the little ones um, and you're just all absolute dreamboats in the situation. I know it's hard coming to school when everybody else is off at home in their pyjamas, but really, really well done. I'm very proud of you all, so keep up your great attitude. Anyway, I will speak to you tomorrow um, and good luck with all your challenges. See you later, year six.